Now let's go to the print dialog. You can get to the print dialog by pressing this icon, the printer icon, and it is typically what I do. So why don't we do that because that's the easiest way to get there. This dialog will look very different in the version running on AutoCAD. Some of the choices are on different tabs and there are two tabs in AutoCAD and there are two tabs in IntelliCAD so it does have that in common and all the features that we're going to talk about all the things that you have control over you'll have control over in AutoCAD and it doesn't matter which tab you choose to start on you will at some point choose a print style or a plot style it might be called in AutoCAD and this tells the printer whether to print color uh, and how the colors should be printed or in monochrome and typically most of the work that we're going to do will be printed in monochrome initially uh, more and more designers are using color and I would caution you to use color sparingly because color is so subjective you may actually get a negative reaction to the colors you've chosen to use so again that's going to be trial and error and your just personal preference but in general uh, monochrome is usually safe meaning no color black and white and then it asks me if I want to assign this print style to all the layouts you can say yes to that and you'll notice that the layout that we're working with is model because we had selected the model tab we've been working in model space right along and we're going to continue to work in model space in AutoCAD this checkbox to print what you're about to select centered on the page is important. We're not going to select it just now just so that you can see uh, how it looks when we don't select that. So we're done with this tab and you'll notice print line weights is selected. You can choose to turn that off and it will print at printer's default line weight. I leave it selected. Now we'll go to the other tab and one of the one of the more important things that we need to do is we need to tell it what we want to print. In our case I want to print everything that is in my screen. So I'm going to say the extents of my drawing, the extents of model space that's being currently used. And then we can do a print preview. Let's do that first just so that you can see that it will indeed, it's going to print everything that is in model space currently. But let's go back to the print settings. Scale is now critical. The, we put a, uh, a scale bar inside the drawing so that when it's printed it can be used as a check to verify that it is indeed printed to the proper scale. More often than not you'll be working with 1 inch equals 20 and that is one of the predefined scales. So we're going to select that and you'll see down here it says printed units one printed unit will equal 20 drawing units. Well, a printed unit is going to be an inch. You'll notice my current paper size is set to 8.5 by 11. We're going to change that in a little bit as well. But now let's take a look at the print preview. Things should look a little different now because I've assigned it a scale. Print preview. Now notice that most of my drawing is on that 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, but it's running off the page. So I don't have 
I haven't selected a piece of paper that's big enough to print the extents of this drawing at 1 inch equals 20. So I'll have to change that. So I do that. In IntelliCAD it's done under Print Setup. Um, in AutoCAD it's done a little differently. It's done a little easier. But for the most part the um, the same options will be available. You'll just find them in different locations. You can select landscape or portrait. Select your paper size. I'm just going to pick ledger which is 11 by 17. I'm going to go landscape and I'm going to say OK. Now you notice my paper size has been updated. Let's do a print preview to see if now my page size is large enough to hold everything I want to print at the scale I've chosen. And indeed it is. But now notice something else that's a little peculiar. The drawing is biased all the way to one side of the page. Well what if I wanted uh, all of that geometry to be in the middle, in the center of the printed page? Let's go back to print settings. And you'll remember on this tab center on page. We hadn't checked it yet. Let's check it now. Let's go back and do a print preview. And there it is. So the geometry is now set up to print at 1 inch equals 20. It is centered on the page. It's going to print with line weight, which you can see already. As you can see the index contours do have some line weight. Uh, and it's going to be monochrome. If you want color, that's going to take some experimentation on your part to see what's visually appealing. And, but again, I'll caution you, it's very subjective. So use color sparingly. Let's go back to print settings and just do a final review of our settings make sure that we haven't missed anything. Uh, while we're here, let me show you what window would do. It, as soon as we select window, you'll notice these options down here that were grayed out are now active. And you want to push the select print area. And it brings us right to model space and we're zooming in and zooming out with the wheel. I'm still on the command. It's still waiting for me to select something. And I can pan it well. But now I'm going to create a window. And it doesn't matter in this case whether you window from the left to the right or the right to the left. Just make sure that you enclose everything that you want printed. And once we've done that, Let's do a print preview. And we've accomplished the same thing as selecting extents. But there will be times when you don't want to print everything that's uh, being shown in model space. You want to print a particular area. Then you would use the window command. But please be careful about selecting the proper scale before you print. And because you do have a bar scale on the drawing, once it's printed, you want to check to verify that indeed it did print at the proper scale. And if it didn't, then you want to check this drop down. And when we're happy with that, we select print. and it's gone to the printer and it's done.